put it in a microwave! Oh no, don't chop me down! Hobby Frog here, reporting from Hobby Kids TV. I challenge Hobby Doo to make a foil ball that looks like metal. Just like this microphone. Oh, well, not glitter, just forget about the glitter part. Hobby Kids TV! Hobby Dude vs. Hobby Grinch. Aluminum foil ball challenge? Psh, I can do that in my sleep. Hobby Gator is Hobby Grinch's official little helper guy. First things first. You need aluminum foil. You need tons of aluminum foil. I think Hobby Grit's gone a little crazy over there. Now that's what I call an aluminum foil ball. So I don't know what Hobby Grit's gonna do over there, but I've got my aluminum foil, my sandpaper, and a nice little rubber mallet. So we're just gonna pull this out and make it into a ball. So we're gonna start off with something about this size. That's a cute tiny ball you got there, Hobby Dude. Smashing is Hobby Grit's favorite. Hey, can you have me a cupcake? Yeah, good job, little assistant dude. Smash. Why make a ball when you can make a frisbee? Uh, are you making a pancake or a ball? Wow, that is a lot of aluminum foil. That's looking super good, Hobby Gator! Hobby Grit, your mission is to make it look shiny and clean as, and good as possible. This is how to make a foil ball, everybody. I am my own shiny present. A lot of people ask me, by eating a lot of pizza, and if you do that, you can get a mustache just like mine. Mustache. After you get the amount of aluminum that you want, or as big as you want, cramp it down into a tight ball, and then you're gonna take your hammer and hammer it down even more so. After about nine hours of working vigorously with the aluminum foil, you should have something that looks just like this. Why use the hammer when you've got a monster truck? We're gonna smash this Hobby Grit stuff. Hobby Science Lab. Can you see the tire tracks that the truck made? If you can, give this video a thumbs up. After you smash your aluminum foil ball project, we're gonna make a hat. First you get Batman out of the way, put the duct tape on top. And now, if there's UFOs out there, they can't see us. This also works if it's raining outside. It makes a great helmet. So when you're hammering it down, you want to get it as condensed as possible. It's a little square, but I'm going to keep hammering until I get it into pretty much a circle. Hobby Grit's going to show you how to juggle. Okay, camera person, throw the third ball to me. Not like that! Using a small strip of aluminum and obviously duct tape, I'm gonna show you how to make a horse. You gotta roll it on all four sides, and we're gonna do some magic with our hands. Wrap it around, go in circles with it, then we're gonna make a tail. And now, you've got a horse! With a tail! Where's its head? It's around on the other side. He's, he's licking himself. I think it's amazing. 
Once you get your aluminum foil ball to about the size that you want, then you're gonna wanna use a sandpaper. If you guys think my ball is turning out better than Hobby Grits over there, write Hobby Dude in the comments. Make sure Hobby Dude sums up. After you smash your aluminum ball with your monster truck, then you dip it in the pool. We're gonna color it! You wanna use every color you can. The important thing when coloring it is to stay inside the line. Hobby Grid, are you sure this is gonna make it shiny? Oh yeah! But you gotta use a lot of different colors. It should look something like this. Then, obviously you're gonna wanna set it on fire. Oh, I hear it sizzling. Now that's one toasty flapjack. I think my arm's about to fall off from all the sanding. Ooh, wow. It's already really smooth and really shiny. Then we're gonna put some slime on there. How is this gonna make your ball shiny? It's a chemical effect that works with the vibranium inside of the metal. After the vibranium gets shiny, then it gets really, really hard. Aw, oh, it's taking all your marker off. Oh man! Then we gotta put the slime away. If you can make it inside of the container, come on. Oh man. Markers and slime, that guy is a kook. After you put slime on it, so that the vibranium takes the chemical effect and makes it really hard and shiny, then we're gonna cut it in half and see what's see what inside. Is. Project is cooler, right? Hobby Grit in the comments. H O B B Y G R I T. Then we're gonna put it in a microwave. Grit, you know you're never supposed to put anything metal in a microwave, right? No, but we're doing it Hobby Grit style. Always remember, do not try this at home. Everybody ready? You guys see all those sparks? Pac-Man can really take the heat. Whoa, what's happening to the Pac-Man, dude? I think it's getting bigger. Whoa. Realizing that after a lot of sanding and hard work, this is about as close as I'm gonna get without having like a professional grinder. I'm gonna cut it open and see what's inside. Hobby Dude's turning into the tinfoil man too! Remember, do not try this at home. So cool! It's like so compact together, it's hard to pull apart. Whoa! That was crazy! I just got sneezed out of a huge Pac-Man foil thing! Oh, what? Oh man, what is this? Oh, the little Pac-Man sneezed little balls! Oh man, this came from his nose and mouth! Whoa, I think there's something inside of here! Oh, cool! What do you think about that, Hobby Dude? 
I got a perfectly shiny aluminum foil ball. This is more better. I'm not gonna lie, he did it better. Now that's how you get aluminum ball polished hobby oh, great style. style. Seriously, that perfect ball came out of that thing? That is crazy. Whoa, cool hobby shark. He's got aluminum ball and a slime from the Pac-Man guy. All right, time to vote. Who do you think turned out better, hobby dudes or hobby grits? Yeah, mine's totally better, Hobby Dude. I, Hobby Grit, declare myself Hobby Grit as the actual winner of this aluminum foil ball challenge. Let us know in the comments whose ball's best. Don't keep this a type secret. Make sure to subscribe and click on one of these other videos if you want to see more Hobby Kid fun. Okay. And, and when you subscribe, make sure to ring the bell if you want to see another fun Hobby Kid Challenge!